All right, here you go. Uh, did a little bit of work to the fire cabinet smoker. Not quite there, but uh, as I promised, that uh, I'll let you guys in on it as I do it. Well, one thing that I've done is uh, I removed the first drawer. Got me this little hook. And you can open it up. This don't pose to be there. If you can look back here, you can see I got a cooking grate. But the reason why I opened it up and I made a door is up here to the top. I'm going to put me some rods so I can hang ribs, sausage, or whatever. And when I do that, this one will come in and out so it's removable. Put me a few hinges on here. Second drawer. It's still the second drawer for some meat. The third drawer, what I did is uh, I placed me some bars here and it's gonna be my sweat box. I've got a removable rack right here, drilled holes so it serves as a deflector shield and also a place for my water pan. So I can just put this back in and then I can't cook a big cut of meat on here, but I can cook some small, maybe like two or three slabs of ribs or some baby backs. The bottom drawer did a little work to that as well. Um, you see, I drilled it in the back for my vent. I uh, stole one of my wife's skillets. This thing look old, don't it? I stole it. That's what my wood chip's gonna sit on. I'm gonna drill a hole right here and place my uh, high pressure turkey burner here. Um, I went to uh, the local Home Depot, got me a ceiling vent for the vent for the outside. And I got a bigger vent for the back right here for the back of the smoker. So uh, my flame won't go out with propane. Uh, I'm almost there, almost ready for the burnout. I'll let you guys know. Peace out.